like physically in a meeting such as this really shows the value of interpersonal relations. It's so important to have a conversation in person, otherwise, you know, the buyer TV conference is not good enough. This is essential for the EOSC symptom. The thing, honestly, that I enjoy most about this conference is talking to people. What I engage most with is the coffee breaks and the lunch and the evening dinners, where we really get to meet those people that I've only been speaking with on Zoom for the past few years. From the convention side, we don't often have this kind of interaction and dialogue with the researchers and the projects directly. So I really appreciate to listen to the researchers, to get close and discuss what their needs are, because everything we do with the EOSC is for the researchers. events we try to establish the way that the rest of the science would follow the rest of the years is key to keep work and keep doing science. Something that really stood out in this EOSC symposium is that it has really managed to coordinate the European Commission, the national ministries and the research community and stakeholders and I think that's a really good achievement. Actually, that's the first time I attend EOSC Symposium, and yeah, I'm really happy to meet the community, to meet the people working on EOSC-related projects and doing these amazing things for open science. So I'm quite new to EOSC, I only started three months ago, so it was mostly really nice to see all the different things. So I think the main goal is to bring people together from all the different EOSC projects, as well as outside of EOSC, to learn about EOSC. It's difficult to describe EOSC Symposium in one word. A nice vision how to work toward open, open science. It's a future research environment. So change everything, go forward. Inclusive and open collaboration. Lots of discussions so far. Collaboration. Collaboration. Community. Future. Integration. Everyone's starting to come back to conferences in person and while I think we're being more careful about the conferences we choose because everyone's aware that travel is more of you know, a privilege than a right, I think that this is the kind of meeting where you have so many people across so many different disciplines that everyone really tries to get to in person.